Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is the first of the month, which means it is sheet load of cards day. I hope you'll stick around to see the new March 2024 printable. Look at the first set I made using it and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I share a new free printable with subscribers of my channel called Sheet Load of Cards. In it, I provide a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your paper and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending on the sketch and the paper size. These are great ways to build up your own card stash, or maybe make gift sets for friends, neighbors, co-workers, or to donate. Let me know what you do with your sheet load of cards in that comment section below. On the first of each month, I stop by to show you the new printable and tell you how you can download it. And on the second of the month, my team of collaborators joins me and shares their sets using the latest sheet load of cards. So make sure if you don't already subscribe to and follow them that you do that before tomorrow so that you can see what they created. Everybody is linked down in that description box below. And speaking of collaboration team members, in 2024, we are having a guest join us for each month. So let's take a minute to meet the March 2024 Sheetload of Cards guest artist. I would like to introduce you to our guest artist for March 2024, Chandra of the Stocked and Stuffed YouTube channel. I have noticed Chandra for months sharing her sheet loads over on Instagram. Well, I discovered she also shares videos on YouTube, so I reached out and was thrilled when she agreed to join us as a guest artist. Up on screen now is a look at her YouTube link and her username over on Instagram. I will have both of these linked in the description box below. Now let's do a little Q&A with her. If you don't already, subscribe to Chandra's channel here on YouTube or follow her on Instagram. I hope you'll take a minute to do that after this video. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the March 2024 printable. Here is a look at the March 2024 sheet load of cards. This month's card is a Landscape A2, and if you follow the sketch, supply list, and cutting guides, you are going to yield 12 cards using just three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, two pieces of cardstock for matting in your sentiment, and then six additional pieces to cut and fold into your 12 card bases. As always, if you don't need a full sheet load, I do give the single card dimensions on page one of the printable. And don't forget that sheet load is always a great jumping off point to make these cards your own. I do give you some ideas down here in the alternative section. And today I'm going to be switching it up just a little bit for my sentiment piece. If you're inspired to show us your sheet load and make sets of cards using this month's printable, make sure to check out the brand new updated show us your sheet load guidelines video, which is linked down in the description box below. You can share on social media, you can share in the Facebook group, or you can send in a card for the end of the month. Again, there are some updated guidelines, so make sure to check those out if you're newer to the channel. And speaking of social media, if you don't already follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I would love for you to come join me on those sites to see what I share there. I do have my username here and links toward the bottom of the description box. 
Page two of the printable is going to show you how to cut each of your pattern papers and your card stocks. This month is a little bit different with your amounts of cardstock. I know I said that you would need two for your matting and your sentiment, and that's because you need one and a half for CS1 and a half a sheet for CS2. Now, CS2 is going to be a great one to use up some of those scraps. So, you know, look around, see if you just have any that you can cut up instead of using a sheet that is a complete half. When you're done cutting your pattern papers, it is going to leave you with some scraps. So on the printable, I do have some suggestions of how you can cut those and then maybe use those to decorate the inside of your cards. While we're looking at page two, I did want to give a special shout out to my channel members. They help me keep sheet load of cards free for all subscribers and put less mid roll ads in my videos. If you ever want to know more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below, or you can click on the join button below this video. Membership does start as low as $1.99 a month, and the favorite perk is probably the visual archive, which is where you can go get a sneak peek at page one of each of the past sheet loads of cards, and then you have direct links to the downloads and the debut and process video. If you have any questions about membership, feel free to reach out to me at the email address at the bottom of the description box. Speaking of channel members, I do have a special few to recognize. In the month of February, the following members earn their two year membership badge. Nancy Horn, Denia Martinez, Mary Armstrong, Sue Crossland, Deborah Bardani, Jeannie J. Whitney, Mary Kubich, Carolyn Canada, Lainey Bata, Carolyn Lillard, Crystal Muirhead, Tina Lewis, Raina 3034, Margaret Westwell, Charlene Johnson, and Paper Craftery. Thank you so much for your continued support. Before I show you my first set of cards and tell you how you can download the free printable, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies that I use this month. In front of me are the main supplies that I use for my first set of cards this month. Now sometimes I use the latest products and sometimes I pull from my stash and that's what I have done this month. So if I can find these products, I will link them below, but some of them might be discontinued. For instance, this Hero Art Stampin' Cut that I'm going to use for my sentiment, it is from 2016. But this just shows you that you can use those old products too when you make your sheet load of cards. To stamp part of my sentiment, I will be using Gina K Designs Prickly Pear Ink. And for card stocks, I pulled out white, prickly pear, and grass green. And these two are also from Gina K Designs. I thought I would use the grass green for the matting, the prickly pear for the card base, and then I will use some scraps of white for my sentiment, but I just wanted to pull that out so you could see the full color combo. For my pattern papers today, I pulled out some that I had bought one or two years ago at my local scrapbook store, and these are from P13's Spring is Calling line. I love this big floral, and then I picked a couple other patterns to go with it. Now while I'm thinking about it, I often get questions, how do I choose my pattern papers? I usually do try to stick to the same collection or the same company because usually their colors go together. I like to have one big bold print with lots of colors and then I choose two more subtle ones that have slight patterns in them but that match the colors in the first sheet. 
Now, sometimes when I have three pattern papers, I might choose another one that is multiple colors, but it would be a smaller pattern or something like stripes or dots. I don't want two bold, colorful patterns to compete with each other. So I hope that helps some of you who have had that question. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards using the March 2024 sheet load printable. I hope you enjoyed getting that look at my first set of cards using the March 2024 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. If you would like to make a sheet load of cards of your own, I do ask that you have clicked on that subscribe button below before you click on the file, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. Becoming a subscriber is free, quick, and easy. You are going to find the link to this month's sheet load of cards down in the description box right below my product list. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can open the file and use it on screen, or you can download it to your device and print it. And speaking of printing, I do have one edition that I want to tell you about. Last month, I told you why I had to start putting a third page, one at the beginning, in front of the printable. That's just to give you some correct ways that you may use and share sheet load of cards. Basically, if you have a crafty friend who wants to download sheet load, send them to my video. But some of you reached out because you were having problems printing it, and I believe that's because you were trying to print this first page. So I have added to that this little black box with some white text that gives you some printing tips. Please make sure that you take a look at those and read them, and if you still have issues after trying that, please reach out with maybe some screenshots or error codes and I'll see if I can help you. Until tomorrow, when I'll be back with the process, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I use in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.